three two-minute rounds. Twenty-five-year-old Dakota Olave. He started training boxing for this fight. He was a professional skateboarder. Feels he has very good natural balance and footwork, which he has brought into boxing. He's been training with this Spaniard amateur fighter, Patrika Domingo. He feels very confident. Olave in our fighter meeting said of his opponent, Evil Hero, I think he's going to be very wild with punches. I have to stay smart, I have to stay composed, and rely on my training with straight technical punches. Joining me on commentary, Fusi and Keemstar. Oh, I'm excited for this. Yo, it's going down right now. This one has a beat brewing between the two. They do not like each other, I'll tell you that much. There is definite animosity between these two fighters. It started at last month's press conference, in which Evil Hero shoved Dakota Olave to the ground. They used to be friends, and then they, one could fight it in the other. They used to be a homeless. Evil Hero keeps calling Dakota a bum. It's gotten to him. He's taking that emotion into the ring tonight, hoping to come out on top. 28-year-old Evil Hero told me he's trained in both Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Told me in his boxing training, he's put a premium on footwork. He said, I'm going to open up, take chances to record a first round knockout. You know, to be honest with you, I went up to Evil Hero before this fight and I let him know, I asked him, I said, yo, if you get the win tonight as you're anticipating, do you really give yourself that credit you feel like you deserve? He said no, and he said he wants an opponent after this. So I wanna see what he's got in the tank tonight. Evil Hero told me I genuinely dislike Dakota Olave. Evil Hero said, I just hope that he doesn't quit before I can knock him out. You know Ooh. something Dakota said? Dakota said he's doing this not genuinely for the win, but to show everybody that he stepped up to his biggest hater and his biggest bully. Yep. So a lot of respect for me is going to Dakota right now. Obviously, Evil Hero is the favorite tonight, but we'll see if Dakota can get the upset. Smile on the face of Evil Hero as he enters the ring. Oh man, I can't believe this is going down. I've waited for this one. Here it is. It's time. Last month at the press conference, we were in Miami, Florida, and there's the two-handed shove to the ground, taking out a camera light for good measure. To get the platform showdown started, we send it to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the debut of the platform showdown. Our first showdown is scheduled for three two-minute rounds at 140 pounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight he wears black and white. He stands five feet seven inches tall. His official weight, 138.3 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the TikTok star from Los Angeles, California. His opponent fighting on the blue corner. Tonight he wears white and red. He stands five feet six inches tall. His official weight, 139.9 pounds. Here is the TikTok star, also from Los Angeles, California, Eva Hero. And our referee in charge of this contest, Tommy Santana. Both fighters will start from the scratch line. Oh man. 
I'm nervous, Sean. I'm nervous. I want to see the upset so bad. I don't know if that's going to come into fruition tonight, Keen, but I'm happy to see a kid step up to his bully. Now, you sat there with Dakota, and you sparred him a little bit. When you threw punches at Dakota, he backed away. He was scared. We talked to the trainer. She said she's been working on that. We'll see if they actually did work on that strategy. You're 100% right, and that's something I had to let them know. I said, when I was throwing punches, he freezed up. Well, Evil Hero is going to come out full force going for that first round knockout. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Dakota has a ton of people here supporting him. Other TikTokers, big creators. Big Lee, tallest man on TikTok. He's out here supporting Dakota. Evil Hero himself coming out with his own musical act. Uh, I mean, Incredible. The people really came out to You're see. You're right, team. And a lot of his team, Sean, actually came up to me personally to say thank you for the interview that I did with him because I shined light on what the actual beef is about. So regardless of what happens tonight, we want people to know that this kid has a lot of heart. All right, it's personal. Round number one. White and red trunks for Evil Hero. Black and white trunks for Dakota Olave. The delay was the change of the mouthpiece for Evil Hero. Oh. He has one he oh, likes, and there's a big right hand. Uh-oh. To the inside. Clinched up. Okay. Get the break. Come on. Separation. Olave now coming forward, hands high. Olave on the hard angle, showing the front shoulder. I like the jab, I like the check jab, but he seems a little stiff. Whoa. Olave missing with that right hand. Overhand right, lands from Evil Hero. 25 remaining round number one. Okay. Dakota's gonna have to get in there. Right to the body from Evil Hero. Oh. Olave trying to look for the entry. See, Dakota looks, I mean, Evil Hero looks like he's just trying to tire him out, waiting for him to fit, get it, get his gas off in the first round and come strong in the second. He's going slow. To the clinch, right back out. We have to mention, this is their first debut fight in front of a crowd and a pay-per-view live audience. So there's a lot of nerves running through these boys right now. And there's also a lot of swings and misses, I'm noticing. Lave landing that right hand into the high tight striking guard of Evil Hero with the left hand. Evil Hero missing with the rear right uppercut. That looked like it was from Mortal Kombat. He went for it. He definitely went for it. He did not land though. I'm proud of Dakota in this round. 30 seconds remaining round number one. Oh, left hand. Oh. Good sequence. Oh. Put that Evil right Hero. down the middle. Landing strong in the last sequence. Continuing to walk forward. Evil Hero's definitely calm here. He's so confident. He's ready for the long game. He's just waiting for that one check right there. Ooh. It is. Oh! Straight right hand lands from Evil Hero. Oh. Lave trying to get in right back to the outside. Final seconds, round number one. Smirk on the face of Evil Hero. That is the bell next stop, round two. Well, to stand up to your bully, he does make it past round one. A lot of predictions said that this would end early, but round one. Oh, we hear some. Is that booze from the crowd happening? I don't know what's happening. They got to step it up. You know, I am I am proud of the fighters, though. This is their first pro debut in front of a live crowd, and there's a lot on the line right now. Okay, you felt the power. You felt the strongest shot. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. You know what, though? I'm proud of Dakota for being able to take the punches because he just took probably his first punch with no headgear, and he handled that pretty well. Uh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm Bam. not mad at Dakota for that one. I'm not mad at Dakota. Evil, if you want your credit, I need to see something in this round, too. Seconds out called. Referee Tom Santana set to start round number two. There is the bell. Now, does Evil try to change up and take the more aggressional stance? I made up that word right now to get in on Dakota Olave. Ooh, bigger punches from Evil Hero. Starting to oh. turn up the temperature here, early stages of round two. Olave trying to fire back with the right hand. Olave is firing back, but I'm not seeing much damage dealt with the punches being thrown. It's more of a stand for survival, but if Dakota does, if Evil Hero doesn't take advantage of that, that leaves a lot of gaps in his game. It seems, right like, hand. It seems like Dakota keeps going for that body shot and not connecting. Evil Hero turning up the pressure even more. 
Evil Hero now playing to the... Takes that rear right hand. You know, I felt Evil Hero's power in his body shot to me. So I'm wondering. Oh! oh right hand on the overhand. Oh! oh right oh. He's just another right oh, uppercut. No, oh, no, oh, no! Warning by referee Tom Santana to Evil Hero. Good Rapping warning the by the ref. The no back of the head here. Can't be doing that stuff. Come on now. 40 seconds remaining round number two. Yo, if this goes past the second, that's already in a lot of people's favor. There's a lot of upsets already. People did not expect it to go this far. And Bobby Mike. giving the right hand to the body. Here it comes. Here it comes. Yep. Oh. You see, will, when will the ref decide it's enough for Dakota? Let him go. He Let him go right. all around. Getting playful. Twirling his glove, starting to clown Dakota Olave. This is with that right hand. Olave slid right to the body, draws a smile on the face of Evil Hero. Final seconds round number Ooh, two. Okay, Olave, Dakota. Right we move to the third final round. Wow, I did not expect this. You know, he's standing strong after multiple uppercuts. I mean, you see these punches. Now you guys are punches. Go to the one, one, two. You know, and he's going for that. He's showing his heart out here. He's showing that. It's a good. We're going to rest you up. Papa, Papa, Papa. Back him up, Dakota. Back him up. All right, can he go all three rounds? Right now, Evil Hero does have the edge, but I think survival is uh, is another win. You know, team, Evil Hero tried to call me out in my interview with him. It was hilarious. And I'm way too big for him, but there are fighters, if he gets through this fight, I can...